Yes, it's Paul, Shirley Fabrication, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. We're going to show you uh, some of uh, my bills we just fixed and sent out right here. This is one I have not did a video on. This is for George Schamberger. This is a 24 by 60 cabinet model, and uh, it's on a mod what we call a modified trailer. From outside of fenders to outside of fenders on these modified trailers are 53 inches. They have removable tongues, and, it, and you know, it's a space saving deal for people that's going to put it in their carport. This tongue right here. We'll just, I'm going to back up. This tongue right here completely comes out. How many trailers have you seen people drive off with without a tongue? So, you know, it'll, it'll keep somebody from stealing that trailer, too. But anyway, uh, this cooker half here has a 3,500-pound axle on it. Uh, it. It also has a, this is first week, when we turn like this. You got a burner right there. You can just put your propane tank in the back. Your burner's here. We kind of made that. For this one, got it right up, locks in. So that's that's pretty pretty neat, I think. Got a wireless probe insert here, here, here. We got our cabinet doors, which are an upgrade. They swing out. Got our gaskets on right here. Uh, got a lot of room in this cooker right here for a 60 cooker. So uh, I mean, you can you, you can pull this top rack out and do a really big hog in there if you want to. Again, this is our cabinet model. It is an upgrade. Another advantage, say it, say it again, you got a flat top to put stuff on, you got a shelf right here, LED lighting, you got both dampers from the firebox to the warmer, you got one the main chamber to the warmer. Right here, somebody was asking me about grilling. Can I grill in this cooker? Well, absolutely. That's the way we build it. You put your charcoal in right here, think about it, you put your good charcoal bed in right there, you can come out here and grill steaks or burgers or or, you know, in Alabama, we do a lot of direct cooking, so you can direct cook on these racks up here with just charcoal and, uh, you know, get pretty good long burn times out of them. Or if you don't want to use that, pull this out. Okay. Again, we've got this damper here. You can paint your main stuff. Open that damper however you want to. You can either use this heat shield or that big pan over it, however you want to do it, and uh, cook like that also. This cooker is really good for, uh, say, if you wanted to cold smoke stuff. If you like me, I cure a lot of bacon and stuff, and uh, you can cold smoke in this cooker. But anyway, we're going to jump to another one right quick. This is Chris Martin's cooker. Chris, we show a picture of it, but we haven't done a video. This is a 24 by 65, five inches longer than that. Again, cabinet-style door. You see all the room in there. Uh, Chris, we got your fire poker right here. Got our gaskets on our doors right here. Told you need to put a strip right down the back side. But anyway, again, these are excellent cookers. You're going to get really good airflow in them. Again, got the flat top right here. On the back of all these modified trailers right here, we have a wood box. As you can see, this wood box is stepped out to the edge of the fender, comes back, breaks back, just to make everything look really nice. It's nice. This cooker has an upgrade on it with, a, with the... Uh, with the paint and uh, you know, with the cabinet doors and everything else. Like this here is for Tango Joe, for Joe uh, Joseph Micah. This cooker here has a, come in that insulated rock. This cooker here has an insulated firebox. Okay, so we have two inches of insulation and this is this insulation right here. It's very thick, very good. We use it in the refinery I work at, on heaters, uh, vapor bodies, you know, pressure vessels or whatever. Uh, it's really good, good, really good insulation. And uh, it's, you know, I, I saw somewhere where a guy was offering an insulated firebox for $200. I'm telling you, it can't be done. You better watch out. That's all I'm going to say. Look at the way it's built. Now you got two, you got quarter inch steel here, quarter inch steel here. That's going up into the baffle plate. You got quarter inch steel right here. You got two inches of insulation. You got 3 16 steel out here. I'm telling you, my son is filming me. He's the best fabricator I've ever seen. It takes him eight solid hours to build an insulated firebox and to build it right now. So if somebody offering you an insulated firebox for $200, I want to see it. I want to see how it's built. I wanna... The floor's insulated, the top's insulated, the door's insulated. Ask them about it now. So we got a damper in this insulated firebox. We got a damper right there coming up in here. That is an upgrade. You can put a heat shield over here and use it, or you can use this right here. That damper there. Gonna have a charcoal pan in there too. I tell you, this insulated firebox, 
it, it you know it'll get hot to the touch you know you won't just want to lay your hand on it but you can put it up against it you know for a second you know, it's gonna get hot to touch but everything that was going to that rear is gonna be going up here this is i, I don't mind telling you this this is a 600 dollars upgrade and uh believe me it, it's uh that's cheap i mean it, you know 600 dollars. somebody says 600 dollars. go out here and build it spend eight hours building it buy the insulation buy all the plate and, and it takes a time to fabricate it it's not something that just hops in there and does it itself takes a lot of time to do it right. Come back here, Tyler. Show them. See the way everything is neat? I mean, this is neat. It's welded neat. The wells are neat. It's double walled. It is neat now. It's not no junk. So, that's the way we're going to do it. Custom fender is built by Tyler. This cooker here has been sandblasted. A lot of people, you know, they'll, they'll you know, I don't care what you do. Eventually, you'll have to touch a firebox up one day. But a lot of people saying, well, my paint pops off. It's not the paint, it's the mill scale that was, the paint was going over. So it's not the paint that popped off, it's the mill scale. So anyway, here's the inside of Joseph's cooker. Right here, we don't have a great, well, I think we got the great built stuff, don't we, Cody, or do we? Uh, All right, we'll get them built, no big deal. Don't mind showing the inside. Uh, again, this painter here will be painted red like Chris's. We'll have some little, little bitty different upgrades on this cooker too. But again, this is upgraded with a firebox, insulated firebox. I do not advertise pricing. If you want one, you call me. Again, come around here right quick, Tyler. See the way this cooker here, it's, it's fabricated. I mean, this pipe was 24 inch diameter. We cut it, jacked it up. Tyler started putting radiuses in this right here. And I like the way that looks. I used to go straight down with a straight feet. He's gonna come up with a radius now and put it in there. It looks neat. You look at all the seams. I'm running my hand on everything. Everything here is, is tight. It's right. You know, and you can buy a cheaper cooker, yeah. But I promise you, for the quality we do, ain't gonna be a price. Not for what we do. Now, there's people that are cheaper, people that are more expensive, and there are some really, really good pit builders out there. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. There are some real good ones out there. But, uh, and I don't down anybody. I'm just saying, I'm not calling names about the insulated fireball. $200, you can't build one. I'm telling you, you can't. Do it. But anyway, this is again, this is Paul with Shirley Fabrication in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Y'all give me a call at 310-9160. Somebody asked about our backlog. We're backlog into May right now. So if you want to wait, you know, might, hopefully we can, you know, get some things earlier than that. We're right on time right now. But uh, it's a it's a three-man, Tyler, me, Cody, Ross, raise your hand. And old Cameron comes over and helps us some too. So uh, you know, we just do what we can do, but uh, we thank y'all for y'all's business. Again, we're going to, one thing we're going to offer in this new year is a vertical cabinet, offset firebox. It's to be slimmer like, uh, I've seen Pitts by JJ build them. I've seen Lone Star build them. I've seen several people build them. We probably miss some builds because we don't offer that. So we're going to offer that. And I don't mind building them because I can build one quick, you know, a lot quicker than I can build something like this. So that's what we're going to offer. I don't copy nobody, but. We're gonna throw our little twist on it and do, you know, we're gonna be offering that. I may, may uh, y'all seen our wagon wheel design? I may offer a wagon wheel set up with it. I don't know. I'm gonna build me one first and get it like I want it and I'm gonna sell them. But uh, anyway, thank y'all. Call me at 205-310-9160. This is Paul with Shirley Fabrication in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Rosa.